Hi, my name is Matt Bowler, and I would like to thank you for choosing Bowler CBT Labs as you dive into labs for our Cisco CCNP Security Series. This first exam series is for the Secure Exam, which will cover our router and switch security. Down the line, we will also be releasing videos and content for the IPS, the firewall, and the VPN exams. But to get started here, we'll be covering topics that are part of the Cisco exam, um, the first book that was to be released in 2011, part of the CCMP security track. Previously known as the CCSP, the new CCNP security is more focused on the practical, real-world, day-to-day scenarios that we may find in the world of Cisco security. And a lot of the technologies that we see are actually part of the CCNA security. What we are doing though is building upon those technologies and we are going deeper and deeper into the track. What I like to do is, as I studied for the CCNA, it was almost like a skin deep look into the technologies, but you covered a very, very wide variety and expanse of technologies. So you got just about skin deep into uh, a ton of different topics. And when I first saw the uh, the layout for the secure exam, I got that same feeling. And in a way, kind of compared it to the CCNA security, in that you're covering a, a huge number of topics from VPNs to CA servers to your management and your switch data plane security as well as the routed data plane. Um, so you have these different areas of the Cisco world that you're covering and it's at the switch and router level. So we have several topics that can be applied at both your ASA level and also uh, at a router or switch. So there will be a lot of VPN labs that we'll cover, site-to-site -site VPNs, dynamic multipoint VPNs, get VPNs, as well as easy VPNs. And we'll take a look at the technologies that Cisco has for us and they have provided for us on their products that will allow us to deploy these technologies in a practical way and hopefully you'll be able to take some of this material with you take it to your lab environment potentially take it to your production environment and tailor it for your needs this is also a great resource for the exam if you happen to be studying for a certification exam I would highly recommend you hitting the lab environment extensively because Cisco does not pull punches when it comes to the exam environment and testing you on the practical side of things as well. They have a certain way that they would like to see their technology implemented and I have done my best to follow their guidelines, um, used a lot of references and personal experience that, that I have through the past here and uh, built these labs around the foundation topics that can be found within not only the Cisco Press documentation but also the documentation that you can find on their website. So if at any time you have any questions or need to get a little bit deeper into a specific topic, Cisco.com, great resource there. They've got white papers, they've got command references, and all of that can be accessed at any time. So don't hesitate to check that out. And uh, and definitely hit the lab. I know I, I can't 
I cannot stress that enough. I placed a lot of time and emphasis on creating these labs so that they will be available to those who are in search of a resource to help them along with day-to-day -day operations as well as the exam environment. So on that note, I hope that you enjoy this first installment into the CCNP security series and I look forward to seeing you in further series down the line. Thank you.